All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So today was competition day. Went out to the uh, Carolina Guns and Gear, Franklinville, North Carolina. Carolina 3-Gun. Uh, I'll tell you what, today was a good day. It was a beautiful day. We thought it was going to rain, but it, it didn't. Uh, did a couple things differently. Usually I've got my big old 3-Gun cart, but this time I was using the Voodoo Tactical 3-Gun uh, bag. I had a uh, hydration, hydration bladder in there. I had sandwiches in there. Uh, the only thing I had to hand tote was uh, shotgun shells because this was a heavy shotgun day. The first stage, the one we're going to talk about here in a few minutes, the first stage alone had 30 targets. And you have to account for at least one or two misses in there. So uh, there was a problem with one of the uh, poppers that didn't go down on my first run. So And that was all the way at the end. So I had to run it again, which equates to around about 60 shotgun shells. In any case, long story short, uh, we're going to talk about a few of these things. I had a great day down there. We had 33 competitors there for the day I came in 20th. And I'll be honest with you, uh, considering the, the shooters that were there, these guys were serious. These are people who shoot three gun. This is not you know a lot of people who, like me, who do it on occasion or once a month. Uh, these guys were serious. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to talk to you about where we came in Uh had all the videos done except for one, which was a horrible stage for me. Uh, that was stage two, and I placed 25th out of the uh, the uh, 33. Uh, stage five was another one of my horrible stages. But stage one, I actually placed 11th overall. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and roll stage one. This is the second run, and uh, this is all shotgun. No slugs, just all birds. So here we go. Stand by. Yeah. Are you ready? Limbs in my Oh, my. Yeah. It's ready. Stand oh by. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 58 seconds on that thing, uh, 5879, zero penalties, uh, it was a clean run. Of all my day, all day, I only had uh, one uh, stage that I did not run clean, and that was uh, my worst stage that came in 27th, and I had a penalty on that one because, well, I happened to shoot, do my favorite thing, I shoot a slug at the uh, un un unappointed slug target, which was a poor little round thing. All right, so anyway, this is, uh, the next one up is stage three. Now on this one, I actually placed 10th overall and it was a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and watch it. Here we go. Are you ready? Stand up. There you go. Are you ready? Stand by. He has a lot, it should be a lot of bait bait. So if you go down, you have a USPS. Okay. Oh, yeah. Over. <laughs> We knocked that one out in 30.5 seconds, 0.57. So anyway, that was a really cool one. We had a spinner, uh, then we had the double shotgun spinners, and what you want to do right there, man, is choke that thing all the way down. Uh, some people did it one at a time. I, I decided to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and sure enough, man, uh, a couple of bull, uh, shotgun shells, and she was over. But I was really, really happy with that run. That was... Uh, 10th out of 33 
And uh, man, that was a lot of fun. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the next one and stage uh, four. Uh, probably not one of my greatest ones. Went ahead and did, uh, was 22nd on that one. But honestly, I thought that was probably one of my favorite and best runs of the day. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here we go. Yeah. Are you ready? It's ready. Stand by. Oh, looks like I left the steel sitting on the other side over there. Uh, all right, so here's another thing. If you guys notice, this is one of the first ones where I'm actually picking up the pistol. I am actually shooting the uh, Legion X5 in this one with a red dot. Now, this was one of the coolest things. Is they went ahead and put a different division in there. This is Outlaws, not USPSA or Three Gun Nation, uh, allowing the guys to use not an open gun, but a regular carry, you know, like a regular gun uh, with a dot on it. Uh, this is really cool for me because I don't have to wear, these are not safety, it's just safety glasses. These are uh, uh, readers. But in any case, well, I'm glad they missed that one. I didn't get a penalty on it, but uh, it probably did. I got a, a, a time on it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Had I not done that one, I'd have done a lot better. All right, here we go. Going high. Are you ready? Shooter is ready. Stand by. One, yeah. Give you a heads up. <laughs> Fucking yeah, so clear. clear. Range is clear. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, you can see me. I was, uh, and and you can hear that slug hit that target. It was a really neat ting. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that was stage five, really horrible. Now stage six, I actually, uh, left two, there was a small popper plate and we had targets out at, uh, 240, 280 and, uh, 380. And then we had some shotguns and then we had to go into a van after the shotgun, uh, engage targets with pistol, two paper targets and a bunch of steels out, uh, bucket the gun, the pistol, and then shoot through the driver's side window out the distance and I was doing good until I had to I just had to move on don't want to go to battle with these things but that was those little itty bitty targets were at 85 yards um, and they were triangles about this big and shooting the way we were with a 200 yard zero really didn't work out in my favor so let's go ahead and check this out this is one of my absolute favorite runs uh, and in this one we did we placed 14th overall are you ready? Sure is ready stand by
bring it down a little. Yeah. All right, so uh, the long range ones we went uh, we have three for four. So, uh, but those little targets, man, they just got out of me. You're breathing hard, you're resting out for this thing, and it wasn't that much fun. Uh, but that's it. We had a lot of fun out there. Uh, I have was on one of the best squads I've ever been squatted with. Uh, big shout out to uh, uh, Jim Smith, Buddy, you, but you know, Mr. Buddy, that guy right there. He knows how to run a rifle and a pistol. It was amazing to watch some of these guys. Uh, Houston Louder, he kicked ass and took names. Dave, John, the rest of the guys, all your SF boys out there. That was a lot of fun hanging out with you today. So anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, three gun. What it does for me is it val validates all the work we do. Uh, it puts a uh, a gauge on what you're capable of and what you can do. Um, probably not gonna be able to do a lot more of these things, man. We're trying to pre preserve ammo, not for a shitty day. Cause I got that ammo, but for testing and everything else. Big shout out to the guys on uh, Patreon. Uh, your donations give me the ability to get this ammo and build ammo and put it together and also the uh, fees and everything else involved and probably not the most exciting video you guys have ever seen but it does give you a little insight on a lot of the stuff that we do but uh, I tell you what man oh Miss Heather was an awesome shooter out there she's a Benelli person uh, and a couple of the other guys just I don't I can't know your names all of your names but uh, anyway Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, probably not going to do a whole lot more of these moving forward, but uh, I'll tell you this, man, I had a blast and I love and enjoy bringing it to you. So, with that being said, you guys have a great day. Uh, God bless America. God bless men, women, uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Was freedom is not free. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And again, thanks to all you guys in the Patreon channel or the Patreon stuff. That's it. Y'all be good. Oh, uh, Proof Research, JP, Primary Arms, uh, uh, AR Gold, um, all you guys. Oh, Ultradyne, uh, that is the best rifle I have ever owned, and I don't ever think I can ever change it out. So with that, y'all be good. Take care.